What's up, everybody? Welcome to my show, My Personal Chef, where I'm your personal chef. I'm Chef Thomas. Today on my show, you won't believe how good this appetizer is. I'm talking about my bruschetta. If you're a fan of bruschetta, then my avocado heirloom tomato bruschetta is right up your alley. Before I get started, I'm gonna wash my hands. First and foremost, let's get started with making the tomato filling for my bruschetta. The type of tomatoes I'm using today are heirloom yellow tomatoes. These tomatoes are a little bit juicier and a little bit sweeter than regular tomatoes. And also, these tomatoes also come in different varieties like the yellow tomatoes or the golden purple tomatoes. But to my bowl, I'm going to be adding in two cups of tomatoes. Mmm, nice and juicy. Along with a half a cup of my favorite onions, red onions, and three tablespoons of freshly Italian parsley, and two cloves of minced garlic, smells so good, and a little bit of salt and pepper to my liking or your liking, and my favorite type of cheese, feta, one cup. Also, a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Oh. And I'm going to mix. So now I'm gonna put this baby in the refrigerator for about 25 minutes so the flavors can develop. Now, let's get started with making one of my favorite types of mayonnaise, my avocado mayonnaise. You won't believe how easy and simple it is. So I'm going to add in one cup of mayonnaise to the blender. Get all of it out. And one avocado, and I hit my avocado with a little bit of lemon juice so it won't turn around. Get you in there. And I'm going to blend everything up until it's nice, creamy, and smooth. This is how you want your avocado mayonnaise to look. Look at that, nice and creamy. So now I'm going to put it in my little bowl. So now I'm gonna give it a taste to make sure it tastes good. Perfect. So now I'm gonna put this baby in the refrigerator for about like five minutes. Now let's get started with making my favorite part, toasting my bread. And the type of bread I'm using today is French bread. But if you're not a fan of French bread, you can use sourdough or whatever. But I cut my bread at the bias, that's an angle cut. I say about an inch, inch and a half thick. So to my pan, I'm going to add in two tablespoons of butter. Along with one tablespoon of olive oil. And what the olive oil you do does to the butter is that it brings the butter up to the temperature so it won't burn. Also, my pan is on medium heat too. I have had bruschetta in the past where my bread wasn't buttered and toasted, but I'm telling you, when you butter and toast your bread, it's amazing. You're gonna see when you try this. So I'm at about, I say about five pieces. I'm going to let this cook, cook for about like three minutes until the bread is nice and golden brown and buttery. This is how you want your bread to look nice and golden brown. So let's get ready and pick this dish up. Here come the best part, trying my bruschetta. Here I go. That look good, don't it? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's all good. Mm. Oh. Mm. The bread is nice, buttery, crunchy. 
and the avocado money is sick. The tomato is nice, tender, juicy, and the feta cheese is a little bit of tartness at the end. Oh, it's amazing. Give it a shot. It's so good, I'm gonna keep on eating. If you like this video or my other videos, please log on to youtube.com, type in 4596 Thomas, and subscribe to my channel. I have crazy recipes that you would enjoy. If you would like to order a copy of my cooking book, please log on to amazon.com or authorhouse.com slash bookstore and place the order for my eye-catching cookbook, My Personal Shelf. If you have any questions or comments, Leave them at the bottom of the page and I will respond back to them as soon as I can.